Adult hypertension is the most common chronic disease and poses a significant public health problem. It is characterized by blood pressure values above 114 systolic or 19 diastolic, with a specific threshold for diabetic patients and patients with kidney disease. Systematic screening is recommended for patients over 30 years old, diabetics, and pregnant women to prevent severe complications. There are various risk factors that can contribute to hypertension. These factors can be categorized into changeable and non-changeable factors. Modifiable factors are those that can be changed or controlled, while the others are inherent and cannot be changed. One non-modifiable risk factor is age. As individuals grow older, the blood vessels tend to lose their elasticity and become stiffer, which can lead to an increase in blood pressure. This is why hypertension becomes more common with advancing age. Consuming excessive amount of salt, excess weight puts an extra strain on the heart, leading to increased blood pressure and also a lack of regular exercise or physical activity. Activity. Primary hypertension is more common, while secondary can be caused by other medical conditions and can benefit from a specific treatment. The pathogenesis of hypertension involves multiple factors, including increased cardiac output, which is the amount of blood pumped by the ventricles, and the heart rate. Impaired regulation of the sodium eliminated by the kidneys is also a factor that contributes to hypertension. Excessive secretion of vasoconstrictive substances, such as hormones that involve in the renin angiotensin aldosterone system, which can cause blood vessels to constrict leading to increased resistance to blood flow and elevated blood pressure. Decreased secretion of vasodilatory substance also can be a cause, as well as increased and sympathetic activity and structural abnormalities which can be caused by the stiffening or the narrowing of the arteriolus. Secondary hypertension can result from renal causes such as chronic kidney disease or kidney failure or from vascular causes. Conditions that affect the blood vessels supplying the kidney such as arterial stenosis, endocrine causes and including primary hyperaldosteronism involves excessive production of the aldosterone hormone which leads to sodium retention and potassium levels contributing to elevated blood pressure as well as Cushing syndromes which characterized by excessive cortisol production. Sleep apnea syndrome can cause a repeated episode of low oxygen levels and contribute to a blood pressure spikes due to the increased sympathetic nervous system activity. Some medication can induce secondary hypertension such as anti-inflammatory drugs, corticosteroids, oestrogen, progesterone and sympathomimetic drugs as well as some toxic causes like alcohol and cocaine. Thanks for watching.